If God is real, then why can't he just show us himself? This guy answered the question. If God's real, why can't he just like show us himself? Why? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Jesus feeds the 5,000. Philip replied, even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Simon Peter's brother spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. What good is that to a huge crowd? Stay off the, Bible. the men alone numbered to 5,000. Afterwards, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. After everyone was full, they replied, this is the next day. We want to perform God's works too. What should we do? Jesus told them, the only work God wants from you is believing the one out, he like, sent. They answered, show us a miraculous sign if you want us to believe in you. What can you do? After all, our ancestors ate manna while they journeyed through the wilderness. The scriptures say Moses gave them bread from heaven to eat. That's very interesting. Okay, so you'll believe if I show you bread fall from heaven, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, I know not. Now so I Exodus 16. Then the Lord says to Moses, I have heard the Israelites' complaints. Now tell them in the evening that you will have meat to eat, and in the morning you will have all the bread you want. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. That evening, vast numbers of quail flew, into the, flew in and covered the camp. One chapter later, not even, this is the next morning probably, but there was no water for the people to drink. So once more the people complained okay, against Moses, give us water to drink. From. Now I understand where he's coming from, okay? We're gonna let him finish, right? I'll give you my thought at the end, but now I understand. Moses replied, why are you complaining against me and why are you testing like, the Lord? Not even a we like two days later. Like, are you trying to kill us? Morning. Then the Lord said to Moses, walk out in front of the people, take your staff, the one you used when you struck the water on the Nile and call some of the elders of Israel to join you. Strike the rock and water will come gushing out. So Moses struck the rock as he was told, and yeah. water gushed out as the elders looked on. Bro. Okay, so. From the rock. Okay. Like those people said in John 6. Let's keep that in mind. Man, rain down, and uh, we'll believe. Okay, but not just manna. We need water, Two too. Times. We need water. Like, how do you expect us to eat bread without water? Okay, so I'll give you water out of a rock. <laughs> <laughs> 16 chapters later. Hey, like, out of a rock, bro, like, that's crazy, okay? Let me just point that out. From a rock, okay? Solid rock. Solid rock. <laughs> and they still did not. <laughs> when the people saw how long it was taking Moses to come back down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron. Hey, come on, they said, make us some gods who can lead us. We don't know what happened to this fellow Moses who brought we us here from the land of Egypt. Them. All the people took their gold rings from their ears and brought them to Aaron. Then Aaron Come took on, the gold, man. melted it down, and molded it into the shape of a calf. When the people saw it, they exclaimed, Oh, Israel, these are the gods who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Jesus didn't say it's, it's that these people kept disobeying even after they saw miraculous signs and they didn't Bro. believe. He was Bread. Okay, the bread, the water, and they still were in disbelief. Right? <laughs> How are we not gonna be in more disbelief than that when we haven't seen those stuff? I mean, obviously we have seen all the stuff, but like literally, like bread and water coming out. Of the, come on, bro, and. They still said not to believe her. It's, it's Went on to talk about how he was the bread of life because they brought up bread. Um, there's many things like that's dumb, in bro. life that and, were shown. Or and it, it, it's even like dumber when we think that even if we were at that point, we would probably be the same people doing that. Okay. So like we're criticizing that right now, okay? Like how these people were not able to believe they saw all these miracles going on, and yada yada. But bro, there are miracles happening today, and we don't we do not believe it. And even if we were to like live on those signs, we would not believe God 
at Jesus. Anyways, we will still have doubts. Because that's how we are. <laughs> that's the truth, right? That's the that truth. We're, shown, we're shown evidence, yet we just disregard it. Um, people that smoke still, smoking basically gives you lung cancer. Um, alcohol is a carcinogen. People still drink all the time. Obviously. Drugs are illegal. People do drugs all the time. Evidence does nothing because we're all about self. When you're all about self, you don't really, you don't really care about evidence. You only care about evidence when it's something you want. True. Jesus' whole thing in John 6 was denying self. And they didn't want to have to deny themselves. Lost it. But it goes on and says, they deserted him. Oh, he loves birds. And Jesus to the other 12, to his actual 12 disciples, he's like, are you going to desert me? And they're like, to whom would we go? Because they were denying self and they were following Jesus because of not what he could do, but what he will do for them.